While numerous friends of NBA great Kobe Bryant have been expressing their sorrow over the devastating accident that took his life, perhaps one of the saddest stories is the one shared by actress Olivia Munn about one of Bryant's plans for the future. She posted a touching Instagram tribute that began with, Kobe, you were such a wonderful friend, always positive and thoughtful and supportive and reliable, and so, so bright. Then she went on to reveal that the two of them were supposed to get together just days later to brainstorm ideas for a new project they planned to work on together. And once you hear the details of that project, let's just say it's heartbreaking. Bryant, a basketball legend who's due to be inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2020, was just 41 years old at the time of his death. It may seem like fans have known him for most of his life, and that's because they have. He began his professional career in 1996, at that time the youngest rookie in NBA history. One of the few sports stars who was known by his first name alone, he spent an incredible 20 seasons with the Lakers. I can't believe how fast 20 years went by, I mean, this is crazy. In her Instagram post, Munn spoke of the quote, whole big world that Bryant was bringing to life at Granity Studios, the multimedia company he created to share inspiring stories. She wrote, you were creating a whole big world from scratch. Everything from the continents to the oceans and rivers to the trees and even the leaves on the trees. Mun revealed that she had shared her idea with him about what makes up the night sky. This idea was inspired by her friends who had tragically lost a four-year-old daughter to cancer and how they had explained that death to the child's younger sister. Rather than saying that her sister had died, the little girl's parents instead told her that, quote, Billy turned into a star. Munn shared this story with Bryant, and together the two planned to tell the stories of all those once-living stars in order to help children come to terms with death and to be less afraid. Grief-stricken, but perhaps looking to comfort herself as well as her followers, Munn recalled all the little and big stars and told her friend, Now you're one of them. The poignant post finished with Munn sending her love to Kobe's widow Vanessa as well as his surviving daughters. Signing off, she told Kobe, Rest in love, my friend. I'll look for you in the sky. Munn's collaboration with Bryant wasn't the only planned project to come to an end when he lost his life. Brazilian novelist Paulo Coelho revealed to the Associated Press that Kobe had been a fan of his allegorical bestseller The Alchemist, so much so that the two had planned to co-author a children's book. The book, which would combine the themes of sports and magic, was meant to show underprivileged children how they could overcome adversity. While Coelho admits to being overwhelmed with requests from fans pleading for him to finish the book as a tribute to Bryant, he instead chose to delete the draft of what had been completed so far, claiming, this book has lost its reason. He did go on to say that someday he may be able to write about what he learned from the NBA legend, calling him a larger-than-life person, and adding, but the children's book did not make sense anymore. While we feel privileged to have witnessed Kobe's phenomenal basketball career, it's gut-wrenching to realize just how much more he could and would have accomplished in his additional careers as an author, filmmaker, and children's advocate. While it's understandable that Coelho, Munn, and other Kobe collaborators may be feeling too upset to pursue the projects they'd planned together, hopefully in time, they may take the inspiration Kobe provided and use it to create works that will stand as lasting tributes to an enduring icon is how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person that then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever.